Alright guys, I'm going to install this guy that should convert kilometers to miles per hour. Um, I'm going to take out this gauge cluster. Uh, and it only has the four screws holding it in. And then there's four plugs that are really annoying to get to. But uh, yeah, we'll get to that. Another video uh, where I install this radio, you can see how I take apart all the rest of it. But that's for another time. And you can figure that out in that other video. But here I'll get started. All right. That plug, that, that, and that. So this thing, since I have a 1995, these are the instructions for the 1KZH. 1ZH106, 1KZH106, wow. So, that's the instructions. And apparently, mine is very different because it doesn't have the same color schemes as what they say. But, this is the plug. And I'm gonna attempt to use the same pinouts and see if it works. So here we go. I'm gonna connect power to this plug that I found. That's power here. And then I'm gonna ground it to screw back there. I'm gonna use these little posi twist things that I used on the radio before. They're pretty convenient. Put the wires through there, twist it, and then psh, tighten it. Alright, so update on the wiring, which is really wrong. Do not follow the pins that are listed here, 3 and 4. Instead, follow the actual wire color. So the red and black wire and then the purple and white wire, which I guess, I don't know, should have done, but also looking at this different model, it's different pins, but the same wires. So, probably can't see it, but it's, I had to, you know, put the wires back that I did cut, and then just went by wire color on the, um, the gray plug so yeah everything works i will show you in a bit how it compares with my gps speed on the phone right, as you can see i've got my phone gps speedometer just because i don't know how else to to show that it's actually doing miles per hour instead of kilometers per hour um it's a little off just because i have bigger tires in stock so it'll read like one mile per hour off towards the low end then two around 50 and then three to four in the 60 80 range but uh see it's pretty accurate now in, in town where it's 25 miles an hour but um yeah this little device is pretty sweet now i don't have to keep guessing what kilometers per hour i'm going equals miles per hour so Highly recommend.